Chlorogen is a mixture of organic chemical compounds that make up a portion of the organic matter in sedimentary rocks. It is insoluble in normal organic solvents because of the high molecular weight of its component compounds. The soluble portion is known as bitumen. When heated to the right temperatures in the Earth's crust, some types of chlorogen release crude oil or natural gas, collectively known as hydrocarbons. When such chlorogens are present in high concentration in rocks such as shale they form possible source rocks. Shales rich in chlorogens that have not been heated to a warmer temperature to release their hydrocarbons may form oil shale deposits. The name chlorogen was introduced by the Scottish organic chemist Alexander Crum Brown in 1906. Formation of chlorogen, with the demise of living matter, such as diatoms, planktons, spores and pollens, the organic matter begins to undergo decomposition or degradation. In this breakdown process, large biopolymers from proteins and carbohydrates begin to dismantle either partially or completely. This breakdown process is basically the reverse of photosynthesis. These dismantled components are units that can then polycondense to form polymers. This polymerization usually happens alongside the formation of a mineral component resulting in a sedimentary rock-like corrogen shale. The formation of polymers in this way accounts for the large molecular weights and diverse chemical compositions associated with corrogen. The smallest units are the fulvic acids, the medium units are the humic, and the largest units are the humans. When organic matter is contemporaneously deposited with geologic material, subsequent sedimentation and progressive burial or overburden provides significant pressure and a temperature gradient. When these humic precursors are subjected to sufficient geothermal pressures for sufficient geologic time, they begin to undergo certain specific changes to become corrogen. Such changes are indicative of the maturity stage of a particular corrosion. These changes include loss of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur, which leads to loss of other functional groups that further promote isomerization and aromatization which are associated with increasing depth or burial. Aromatization then allows for neat molecular stacking in sheets, which in turn increases molecular density and vitrinite reflectance properties as well as changes in spore coloration, characteristically from yellow to orange to brown to black with increasing depth. Composition, as chlorogen is a mixture of organic material, rather than a specific chemical, it cannot be given a chemical formula. Indeed, its chemical composition can vary distinctively from sample to sample. Chlorogen from the Green River Formation Oil Shale Deposit of Western North America contains elements in the proportions carbon-215, hydrogen-330, oxygen-12, nitrogen-5, sulfur-1. Types, label chlorogen breaks down to form heavy hydrocarbons, refractory chlorogen breaks down to form light hydrocarbons, and inert chlorogen forms graphite. A Van Crevelin diagram is one example of classifying chlorogens, where they tend to form groups when the ratios of hydrogen to carbon and oxygen to carbon are compared. Equals type I, saprapelic equals, type 1 oil shales yield larger amount of volatile or extractable compounds than other types upon pyrolysis. Hence, from a theoretical view, Type 1 corrogen oil shales provide the highest yield of oil and are the most promising deposits in terms of conventional oil retorting, containing alginite, amorphous organic matter, cyanobacteria, freshwater algae, and land plant resins, hydrogen, carbon ratio greater than 1.25, oxygen, carbon ratio 